To set environment variables in Windows, the first thing you want to do is go down to your Start button and type in ENVIR or environment, some abbreviation of that. And it'll bring up this link right here, Edit Environment Variables for your account. So you could click that, or alternatively, if you don't see this or if you aren't able to find the search box, you could click on the Start button right here and then right click on Computer and you could choose Properties. And then once you've chosen that, you choose Advanced System Settings. And then once you've chosen that, you choose Environment Variables. And so two roads that lead to the exact same place, they will bring you right here where you could set environment variables. You have two, two, two places you could set environment variables. You could set them right here for the user, or you could set them right here for the entire system. If you set them up here, these environment variables will only be set for your user account when you log into Windows. That means if somebody else is using your computer and they log into Windows, these environment variables won't be set for them because they'll be logged in under a different user account. So if you want to keep your environment variables set only for when you are logged in, set them up here. If you set them down here, they will be accessible to the entire system regardless of who logs in. So you can set them in either place, but that's the difference between setting them right here and right here. Now again, the two environment variables you absolutely need to have to do programming in Go. You need to have the Go root environment variable, and you also have to have the Go path environment variable. And the way you set that is you click New, and you type in the name, and then you give it the, the path to that location. And the go path needs to point towards your workspace. On my computer, my workspace is located in Documents, and I called it Go Code. And inside Go Code, you have bin package and source. So that's exactly what I expect to see in my workspace. I click on this, and it gives me the, the link that I want to copy to put into here for the path to my workspace. And so normally it looks like that. When I click it there, I get this link with the C colon backslash, all that. I want to copy that and then come over here and paste it in. And then I'll hit OK and it'll set that environment variable, the go path environment variable with this pointer, right? Pointing to that folder. It'll set that for my, uh, my computer. So that's pointing towards my workspace. I already have it set, so I just hit cancel right there. So, you, so this one should automatically be set by installation of uh, the Go Software Development Kit, the Go SDK. This one you'll need to set yourself after you've created your workspace and located it. I only recommend having one workspace as you're uh, learning Go programming, so let me just reiterate that. It's best to just have one workspace. Now the last environment variable you might want to set is right here in the path. Currently in path, you can see I have two environment variables set. I have this one right here. And then environment variables are separated by a semicolon. Right there is a semicolon, and I have another environment variable set right there. I'm going to take that one out because that was pointing towards the bin folder. And I want to show you what, what happens, and this will really illustrate how environment variables work. I'm going to show you what happens when I do not have an environment variable, the path variable, pointed towards my bin folder. And you might be wondering, what's the difference between path and go path? By the way, path is just a general location where you could set any environment variables, right? General paths to things that you want. Your computer, I want, I want you to look down these paths, Mr. Computer. When you run, look down these paths and see if anything you find in any one of these locations will help you do the thing I'm asking you to do. All right, so without having a path environment variable set to my bin folder, I'm going to launch the shell here. And then right in, in the shell, I'm going to type in hello.exe and see if this runs. Ah, and it did run. So what do I know? <laughs> because I didn't hit OK right here. Let me hit OK, and I just cleared that one out. Let's do this again. So now when I type it in, it doesn't run. It says I cannot find that command. So I'm going to go back to my environment variables. And I'm going to edit my path. And I'm going to add that semicolon there, and then I'm going to add a path to my bin folder. Right? So I'm going to copy that, and I'm going to add that one in right there, and then paste it in. And so I hit OK, I hit OK, and now I'm going to restart my shell, because generally speaking, you always need to restart the shell, right? It says, hey, that isn't found. Even though I know I just set that environment variable, when I restart this, it'll reload all those environment variables. It now has a path going to this location. So when I type in hello exe, the computer's going to be like, okay, where's hello exe? Where did I go to run that? It'll look down all my path variables, and then it's going to find it, and it'll run it. So that's, uh, that's setting an environment path variable. So just again, the thing that you need to take away from this video is to add environment variables. You go to start, type in environment, click on 
well, let me see, I typed it wrong. Click on this link, edit environment variables for your account right there. And then you come in here and you wanna make sure your go path is set towards your workspace. For me, that's gonna be this folder right here in documents with those three folders in it. And then I also recommend setting to your path environment variables, a path to your bin folder. So notice I'm setting one to my workspace, which is right here, that's my workspace. And I'm setting one to my bin folder, which is one folder deeper right here. All right, so this will automatically allow me to run any executable that I compile and create and go just by typing in the name of whatever little program I just created. So I set this one to my path, this one to my go path, right? And then your go root should automatically be set. But that's how you set environment variables in Microsoft Windows.